In the spring and summer months of Colorado, there can be extreme weather. Colorado is second in the U.S. for hail claims. Unless it is golf ball size hail or bigger, your roof is probably not in immediate need of repair. Either way, within just one or two hours of the storm passing, your phone may start ringing or you hear a knock on the door with an offer from a door-to-door -door salesman offering a free roof inspection. This is where the real damage may happen. The first step to not become a victim of a fraudulent roofing contractor is don't sign anything. Beware, it may be a scam. Reputable contractors don't canvas neighborhoods and try and lock you into a contract using high-pressure sales tactics. Many times, roof inspection reports are really just binding contracts in disguise. One popular sales catchphrase is, I can help you get a new roof. It won't cost you anything. Let me get on your roof and see if you have any hail damage. I just need you to sign this first. What they are really trying to do is lock you in with a waiver form, contingency contract, or inspection contract, so you can't get other estimates and you are forced to work only with them. This is risky business. The knocker may appear legitimate, then later the roofer he or she represent ask for a deposit or collect on insurance money, then disappear and never actually do the work on your roof. So don't sign anything with anyone who shows up on your doorstep. If you do sign, you have a 72-hour right of recession by state law to get out of the contract or agreement, SB 38. Step 2. Now that you know you have time to do your research and make an informed decision, here are some immediate steps you should do when the storm passes. Write down the date and time of storm. Take pictures and video of damage. Take picture of size of hailstone next to a tape measure. Temporary fix anything that might cause further damage. Tarp broken skylights, windows, and roof damage. Save all receipts. Your insurance company will reimburse you later. Step 3. To help prevent from knockers coming to your home, put up no roofing solicitation signs. Print off CRA stop signs from our website and put it on the front door or window. This will help cut down on the door knockers. Also, print and use our CRA consumer checklist you will find on our website to help make an informed decision. Step 4. Contact your insurance agent. They are your best friend. You pay their commission each year, and they have your best interest at heart. Get their advice. Ask them about your policy. The replacement cost value and actual cost value. Deductible, mortgage company, and depreciation. When it is time to file a claim, call the insurance claims department and get a claim number and set up a time with the insurance adjuster to come out and look at your damage. Most insurance companies give the homeowner up to one year to file a claim and then between six months to two years to get the work completed from the date the claim was processed. Step 5. Now it's time to find a reputable roofer. Where do I look? In the phone book? Internet? No. CRA has vetted contractors over the years, and our website is a great place to find a contractor and additional information about selecting and hiring a trusted roofer. CRA is a nonprofit association whose goal is to inform and educate the consumer as much as possible. Our code of ethics and strict requirements are needed before any roofing contractors can become a member. Step 6. Call two to three CRA roofing contractors for a roof evaluation and estimate. A CRA contractor will come to your home, inspect your roof, and tell you if you have an insurable loss or hail damage. And again, don't be pressured to sign anything. There will be no obligation. A free estimate is standard with any reputable company. Ask to see the company's certificates of insurance. Verify with the insured the certificates are valid and the contractor's coverage for liability and workers' compensation are current. Check the number of employees covered by the policy. A low number indicates the contractor will hire temporary help who may or may not have the necessary experience. Step 7. If it is conclusive you have hail damage, then make the call to the insurance company. Call your agent first and get their advice and your type of policy. Then, file a claim, receive a claim number, insurance adjuster, set up an appointment. As a reminder, know how much your deductible is and can you afford to pay it. Know your type of policy. Is it RCV or ACV?
Is it recoverable versus non-recoverable depreciation? The insurance company adjuster comes out and inspects the complete house for damage. They do test squares on the roof of 10 by 10 foot sections to see if they will repair or replace the roof. They check the gutters and downspouts. They check everything else – roof vents, soft metals, etc. They will tell you if you have hail damage and write up an estimate. Step 8. Now you have the insurance estimate and the roofing contractor estimate. Compare estimates and work out the differences between them. Only accept roofing contractor bids or contracts with price, scope of work, and materials written on them. The CRA roofing contractor will help explain the differences between estimate and the next steps in the process. Make sure you are comparing correctly. Step 9. Next, work out the difference between the contractor and the insurance company. Don't sign anything until they are on the same page. Not like apples and oranges, and you know exactly what is being covered by the insurance company and what you need to cover, such as out-of-your-pocket expense, upgrades, deductible, etc. Common questions in this process are, is any extra money not used mine? No, you are not allowed to profit from a loss. Is it legal for a contractor to offer to pay, waive, or rebate your deductible? No, this is insurance fraud. The homeowner and CRA contractor will sit down and go over everything before an estimate is signed. They will go over the estimate and scope of work, pick a type of shingle, pick a color, show current workers' comp and general liability form, confirm the estimate has a contract price on it, schedule a time to start the job, and sign the estimate. CRA recommends no money down on most residential roofing projects because it usually only takes two to five days to complete a roof. If you need to put money down, only put five to 10% down and only when the material is delivered to the job site. You could also make the deposit or down payment out to the contractor and the supply company to ensure the deposit is going towards the material. Remember SB 38 states the estimate should have the following terms. 72 hour right of rescission and cancellation period. Start date. Deposit to be held in a separate trust account. Workers' comp and GL. A contract price. Scope of work. Please make sure you feel good about your decision and the contractor you decide to go with. There's an old saying go with your gut feeling. Make sure you have started the process with the mortgage company. If you have an insurance company, check that it has both your and the mortgage company name on it. Ask how to get it endorsed. Step 10. Now you're ready to start your project. Here are the next steps. Your CRA contractor pulls a permit for the project. The material will be delivered by the supplier. And go through a pre-roofing checklist with the customer. On a nice sunny Colorado day, the project will begin. The contractor will schedule any mid-roof inspections if necessary. And the contractor will also call for the final inspection. The roofing crew shows up to start the roof. They will set up a dump trailer on driveway if possible. Set up a fall protection system for each crew per OSHA requirements. It's the law. Make sure they don't get up on your roof without proper fall protection. They should clean up every night. Finish the roof. Call for a final roof inspection. Set up ladder for inspection. Pick up ladder after roof passes final inspection. Submit the final invoice to customer and insurance company. The insurance company releases the recoverable depreciation and sends the second or last check to the customer. Make sure the customer is happy with the new roof. You, the customer, pays remaining balance to the roofing contractor. And that is the end of the roofing project. You are happy and CRA roofing contractor is happy. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Before you begin a roofing project, please visit coloradoroofing.org. Print off our checklist and review this video again to help ensure the safest and best experience possible when working with a roofing contractor. Thank you.